Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. Today, I'm gonna to try to make an aluminum smelter using some of this junk here. Now, as usual, all of this is random hoarded stuff. We've got a big pile of mismatched bricks. We've got this charcoal, which I've just pulled out of my fire pit. We've got some empty beer cans. Uh, we've got these concrete slabs. I might use one of those as a base. And I've even got some uh, fireplace mortar, which I don't know why I have this, because I don't have a fireplace. So I'm going to attempt to put all this together, along with some other parts, and see if we can melt down those beer cans into something more useful. This is going to be my crucible, or my melting chamber. So it's steel, it has a higher melting point than aluminum. Hopefully I don't get it hot enough to melt this. Uh, if I do, I might have to get some kind of a ceramic flower pot instead, but I don't think I have any that'll withstand the heat. So we're gonna start with this guy. Now I could simply stack the bricks up loose like this without any mortar. I think I'm gonna use that mortar at least for some of the bottom rows. That way I can leave an opening at the bottom where I can put in an air pipe and possibly an ashtray, although this one's a little too big, and I think this is aluminum, so it might actually melt. Now, I also want to be able to move this assembly around, and right now it's just a heavy pile of masonry, so I'm going to go see if I can find some wheels and put a little wheeled platform or dolly under this so I can wheel it off to the side of the yard when I'm not using it. Got my big drawer of random wheels. Try to find a couple in there that aren't too huge. So I'm also going to cement in this air pipe to uh, feed extra oxygen into the fire. And then for my clean out door, I could just have a loose removable brick, but I have this little thing hoarded and it's kind of a little door. So I just need to make a hinge for it and a little latch and then uh, that could be my ash clean out door. All right, the masonry part of this is basically done. So now I need to let that mortar set. In the meantime, I will work on a lid and a forced air system for my draft tube there. Uh, I've got my little door, which once this mortar sets up, I've got a little latch for it to sit on and a hinge. And then I've got my screen down in there that I can set the charcoal on and my crucible sits in there. I'll probably have to put a little pin or some kind of a hanger to set it up off of the charcoal a little bit. All right, the mortar on this has set and so I am basically done. I've got my blower over there and this is kind of a two-stage design with two computer fans in it. If those don't uh, turn out to be powerful enough, I do have another fan I could use. I've got my little door to open up and scrape the ashes out. And I've got my crucible in here. About the only thing I'm missing is a lid to put over the top. I found a couple pieces of scrap steel, so I'll probably just stack those on there as a lid to hold the heat in. And then uh, I think we're ready to fire this up. And again, this entire setup here probably cost me about ten dollars. I think the bricks I found on the side of the road with a free sign, those wheels were in a dumpster, this pipe I found at work, that little metal door I found at work, uh, these fans came out of old computers that I was gonna throw away anyway. I probably put about ten dollars worth of that furnace mortar in there and hopefully that holds it all together. And again, this charcoal was also free. This is just made from burning firewood in my outdoor uh, fire pit and salvaging the charcoal. So this has been sitting here for a while and 
it's really not getting very hot, so I think my little fan is not powerful enough, so we're going to take this off and swap it out with a bigger one. This was supposed to be for the duck coop, but let's see if it works on here. All right, I'm going to start adding some aluminum foil. Try to melt that first, and then uh, once that started to melt, we can add some crushed up beer cans and see how those do. Progress! I have a beer can on fire in the crucible. So, I guess that's a step in the right direction. So one thing I didn't realize when I started is how fast this burns through the charcoal. I do have a little more homemade charcoal I'm throwing in there. I may have to resort to commercial charcoal at some point. We'll see. All right, I just looked in there and I'm pretty sure that my metal crucible coffee can has blown out. So I think I've lost any aluminum that I was melting. We're going to lift that out and see what happened. Well, at least my lifting arrangement works to get this out of there. And you can see where the coffee can blew out the bottom. So on the plus side, I've managed to make a really inconvenient barbecue grill. All right, it's morning, everything has cooled off, and we can look again at our cheap crucible. There are some drips of aluminum that came out of that, but the whole bottom blew out, so that's no good. We have a little bit of ash in the bottom, so I'll have to clean that out. And we do actually have a little nugget of aluminum. So I did successfully melt some beer cans. That is about 10 beer cans worth. Um, not very strong as you can see, I just broke it. But uh, yeah, if we could get this to stay molten and in the crucible, then we could pour it into forms such as my knife over here, which I'm going to have to redo because I stepped on it. But uh, that's going to be a different video because I don't have anything stronger than that coffee can currently. I think I probably need to use something like a propane canister or a graphite crucible. So if I want to use a real one, I'll have to buy it. If I use a propane can, I'm going to have to find a way to safely make a hole in one. And then we'll come back to this in part two and we'll do something with this molten aluminum.